Hey, do you like progress? I like progress. Well, really, I kind of don't, but I have to put up with it. Hey, if you checked us out a year ago, behind us would have been a whole lot of trees. It would have been very pretty. It would have been a forest, um, actually woods, whatever you want to call it, but there would have been a bunch of trees there. But because of progress, there is a hundred foot wide swath being cut through this land to make an oil pipeline. This oil pipeline is going to run hundreds of miles. And very fortunately, oh yeah, it's coming through near my backyard. I don't know if you see it or not, but right here is a fence line. That's my property line. But right on the other side of it is somebody else's land and they had to make way for progress. And you say, John, what does that have to do with selling insurance? Oh, in 2020, a whole heck of a lot. Some of you might have forgot by now this little thing called COVID that kind of slowed things down for almost uh, a, a whole year, okay? But here's the deal, progress. The insurance companies made tons of progress. They weren't all too excited about making sure that we, the agents, stayed in business. Insurance companies were concerned about their financial bottom line. So they started doing things that were advantageous to us, the insurance professionals, that made them the money that they got to earn. Now, it worked out well for us as agents because we were now able to sell insurance products in new and fantastic ways. What do you mean? Well, number one, we were able to go to work in maybe blue jeans, cut off shorts, sweatpants, no pants at all if you're kind of that way, but all we had to do was have on a nice shirt if we were on a Zoom call. That was pretty cool. We didn't have to drive anywhere. Well, why would we if we had to wear masks? But we didn't have to drive anywhere. So we went from appointment to appointment to appointment all on the phone or on a Zoom call. Hey, we found that we had more time throughout our day to do more things and it became better for us. We did not take a hit on our contracts, okay? So that means that if we spent three hours a day driving from an appointment to an appointment, we had more money. We had more time. We didn't spend money on gas. We didn't eat out as much. Hey, what about new insurance products or relaxed underwriting? You know, since there was really no one to run around and do blood tests and all of those other things, insurance companies, they had to adapt to other methods of getting the medical information that was required in order to sell a policy. Do you think really they were that much concerned about us? <laughs> Not at all. They were concerned about themselves. So they had to relax their underwriting guidelines to allow us to maybe do a little bit of over the phone or over a video chat underwriting. And then they went back and looked up under computer models and did records checks to allow underwriting to occur. That allowed us to continue to sell in this uh, COVID environment. What about annuities? Oh boy, I was sick and tired of having to travel a thousand miles in order to have somebody sign an app and do a policy delivery. And all of that had to get on an airplane, do the traveling. No, that was no longer required. Annuities now in some cases can be sold while on a Zoom call, while on a Google Meet. No longer do you have to be face to face in order to sell an annuity. Look, I understand hundreds of thousands of people have died. I understand all the negative ramifications. I'm sorry if any of you lost any loved ones, family, friends, or strangers to COVID. But for the industry as a whole, hey, this has been a really good deal, okay? Because things will never go back to the old normal, okay? Most of us don't want things to go back to the old normal. I would rather be able to go to work every day and not have to drive four hours to go and spend three days in a hotel room to go earn an income. I would like to just make phone calls. I'm doing that and so can you. I want you all to stop and you think about that the next time that you're wondering, man, I hope things don't go back to the old way. Well, they won't. 
things will always move forward. Hey, I'm glad that you lent me your ear for this period of time. If you have a different opinion, I'd like to hear about it. Let me know. Thanks a lot.